Hi, Artist Tara Reed, back with another quick sewing tutorial. This time we're gonna be going Western with my Ride the Range fabric from Riley Blake Designs. And we're gonna make a super cute and quick toy for baby. This is a crinkle tab toy. Hear that? Awesome, isn't it? You wanna know what it is? It is the bag from cereal because you wanna use food grade plastic in this thing. More about that when I get to the details of how to put this together. But basically it's two six by six pieces of fabric. One I did a patchwork, one I just did plain, a bunch of ribbons, the plastic on the inside, and this will keep babies entertained for hours. But don't forget about safety. Do not put them to bed with this. There's plastic in it, so just be careful. This would be something that I would use when I'm sitting staring at their adorableness or definitely like have the baby near you. So just think safety, use your judgment. And now let's get to the fun part and see how easy these are to make. Let's quickly talk about the materials you need to make a crinkle tag toy for a child. And I got it set up a little bit so that you don't have to watch me pin a bunch of ribbons. So basically I am going to be using a six by six, well, six and a half inch now. So it's going to end up being a six by six tag toy. And I'm just gonna do plain on the back. And this is one of the prints from my Ride the Range fabric collection from Riley Blake Designs. And then on the front, I decided to make a four patch. So, and I did fussy cut. I'll show you more when that's sewn. You'll be able to see a little bit better, but I basically took my little cute cuts ruler. This is a Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet from Riley Blake also, that is three and a half inches. So it's perfect size. And I put it over top of the fabric. So if I were to fussy cut this, if you're not familiar with the term, I would take it over the fabric and I'd be like, okay, I want the cowboy hat right in the middle. And so I would position the ruler and then cut around it. Or if I wanted the boots, I would do the same. So that's what fussy cut means. If you're new to that term, there's always a day when we don't know a term, right? So I'm doing a simple four patch on the front and a, just a, the toss on the back. And then I got four different kinds of ribbon and they're different textures. So these two are the same, they're a grow grain. This one's satin, so it's gonna feel a little bit different. And then this one is gonna feel different as well because the goal of this is noise and texture. Infants love both. I cut the ribbons, the pieces of ribbon to three inches each and just put them around. And you can just decide how many you want. I'm, I'm going for a lot. So I pinned them or clipped them all the way around one side, and then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to baste that. Now, here comes the fun part. I had seen this on some other posts about doing these crinkle things for the noise. And someone said, oh, you need to use food safe plastic. And I was like, what on earth is food safe plastic? Like a Ziploc bag, that doesn't make a ton of noise. And then someone said, grab your cereal and use the bag because if cereal's in the bag, it's food safe. So this is plastic from a box of cereal that I have washed. You wanna wash and dry it and listen to that. My husband said he wants one. I did a little test just to make sure because I was like, oh, that's such an amazing idea. And then I thought, well, how's it going to hold up? Because, you know, babies, they slobber, they chew on things. You're going to want to wash this. Can we wash it? So I made a little sample of, of fabric with the plastic. I put it in the washer. I put it in the dryer for about 15 minutes. I wasn't sure how long to do that. And this plastic held up no problem. Then I also thought, well, what if it's wrinkled and somebody wants it to be flatter? Can I iron it? I used my iron on a silk setting. You wouldn't want to do like cotton and heat and do too much heat, but on a silk or polyester, totally fine. Didn't shrink, didn't buckle, nothing. So I feel like that means we are good to go to use this, to use a cereal thing. So I'm super excited to get this sewn together. First step, I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to baste all of these ribbons on at about an eighth of an inch from the edge. As I go around, I need to make sure the ribbon stays down. So I'm gonna use this super cute turning tool. It's a little Riley Blake bird, just to keep my fingers away from the needle and to keep myself out of the emergency room. 
Now that we have all these ribbons basted in place, we're gonna make sure they are staying to the inside. I'm gonna take the backing and put it face down so that we have right sides together, making a sandwich. And then we are going to take the uh, cereal bag that I cut to size and put that right on top. Now it gets a little bit lumpy because you have so many ribbons under there, but the goal is to line up the outer edges and mash those ribbons. So then I'm just going to clip this all the way around and then we're gonna sew around with a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more just to make sure I didn't go in too far on the basting and leaving a section open to turn. Now I'm gonna clip the corners. You can hear that delicious crinkle while I work. And now I'm going to turn it right side out. Now we're gonna enlist the bird for what he was meant to do, help with your corners. So normally I would say, oh, go to the sewing, go to your ironing board and press this under. But because it's plastic, I really don't want to press it. We can on a very low setting, but it folds pretty easily because I didn't leave it to be, I didn't leave it too big. And we can just make sure these are the ribbons are poking down. I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna use a couple pins. It's a little harder to clip when you have all of these ribbons. And then the final step is just to top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge. That'll close your opening and just give this a little bit more of a finished look. And now that it's, it's um, turned, you can see how I made it sort of very specific images in these two corners. I think it looks so cute with the horse and the cowboy or cowgirl and the barbed wire. Love how this is coming out. And that's it. Lots, I really went all out on the on the tags, didn't I? Lots of things for babies to hold on to and that delicious crinkle. That's how easy it is. So, so simple.